There have been many women warriors in history. Today I will tell you about a Japanese woman samurai warrior who became a general in the army. Tomoe Gozen 1157 to 1247 was a late 12th century samurai warrior. Onabugesha known for her bravery. She served Minamoto no Yoshinaka in the Genpei War Shogunate in Japan. The Genpei War 1180 to 1185 was a national civil war between the Taira and the Minamoto clans to decide who would rule the nation. Many battles resulted. It led to the downfall of the Taira and the establishment of the Kamakura Shogunate under Minamoto no Yoritomo in 1192. She was best known for her loyalty and courage at the Battle of Awazu in 1184. Due to her fierce determination as a warrior, she influenced several generations of samurai. Tomei is often celebrated in books, music, poems, films, historical novels and popular culture in general in Japan. According to an account written at the beginning of the 14th century, Tomei was described as being especially beautiful with fair skin, long hair and charming features. She was also a remarkably strong archer and as a strong swordswoman she was a warrior worth a thousand, ready to confront a demon mounted or on foot. She handled unbroken horses with superb skill. She rode unruffled down perilous descents. Whenever a battle was imminent, Yoshinaka sent for her as his first captain equipped with a strong armor. and over size sword and a mighty bow and she performed more deeds of valor than any of his other warriors this is written in a book called the tale of the heike in 1182 she commanded 300 samurai in a battle against 2000 warriors of the rival taira clan she defeated the taira clan and drove them into the western provinces the taira wanted continuity while the minamoto wanted change Yoshinaka Bitomoe as a general fought Yoritomo's forces at the Battle of Awazu on February 21, 1184, where Tomoe goes and fought bravely and killed many of the enemy. Although Yoshinaka's troops fought bravely, they were outnumbered and overwhelmed. When Yoshinaka was defeated, there were only a few of his soldiers standing. He told Tomoe goes and to escape. because he wanted to die with his foster brother and he said that he would be ashamed if he died with a woman what happened to her fate in the aftermath of the war is not clearly known but people have never lost interest in tomei rather some branches of the story continue to grow it is said that tomei gozen was 28 years old when she retired from war and spent the rest of her life as a buddhist monk she died at the age of 90 A salute to Tomoe Gozen with a bow. The ancient world was full of warrior women. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you.